Hi, my name is Aris. I'm the CEO of Flyboard Malaysia. We started operations here since 2014 because flyboarding is our main activity. Uh, but we also started introducing uh, stand-up paddling, which is a very ex exciting sport. SUP stands for Stand Up Paddling, which is a new sport where you actually use almost like a surfboard and you actually stand on it and you paddle uh, while standing up. In Malaysia, we probably use it as one mean of exercising. Uh, we work on your core and also on your overall uh, body strength. This is a hard board. This is the front of the board. There's normally the hole in the middle. This is where you actually your grip, where you can actually hold the board. And if you turn the board around, there's always around three fins towards the end of the board. Uh, the paddle floats on water. So if you throw this in the water, it will stay afloat. Once you open the clamp, and I reach out. So that will be the length which is customized to me. When we are in our sitting position, how we actually paddle, hold the bottom part and you hold the middle part. And how you paddle is, you stretch both arm forward, and then you, you do a movement, yes. Okay. So essentially, when you're paddling, the arm that is closer to the paddle, to the water, will always be straight. The closer you paddle to the board, the straighter the board will go. When you're slowly comfortable, you will attempt to stand up. You stand up with one foot at a time. So the better left, and right, relax, and then you slowly stand up. Okay, let's say you are paddling and you're going to fall or you think you're going to be off balance. The more best thing to do is to quickly go on your, on your knees. If you attempt to take one step forward, the board will just shoot behind you. We realized for most of our customers when they want to go and do SUP in the past, they only want to carry stuff with them, uh, which needs to be waterproof, whether it's a handphone, whether it's a camera, whether it's any equipment. So I think uh, for us, having a hypergear on board is very good because we are able to develop products which make it handy for people to be able to do stand-up paddling and still carry stuff. And also make sure their equipment stays dry in the water. Standing up. <laughs> the standing up part. Yeah, standing the up difficult. Is, it's a bit scary, my leg got a bit shaky. Yeah. That is fine now. Yeah.